Sunday as men kill six members of the same family. Police operatives, men of Oduduwa People's Congress and Hunters Group of Nigeria were said to have been deployed in the bush in the area. Some gunmen before daybreak on Sunday killed six people in a village near Wosimi, a community along Ife, Ibadan, Way, Oshun State. According to the punch, the identities of the perpetrators of the crime could not be immediately ascertained, but police operatives, men of Oduduwa People's Congress and Hunters Group of Nigeria were said to have been deployed in the bush in the area. Oshun Police Command spokesman Yemisi confirmed the incident, saying all the diseases were members of the same family. She also said the State Commissioner of Police, Wale, had visited the scene of the incident. Hmm. What a big problem Nigerians are facing. Fulani have declared war against Yoruba land for asking them to evacuate their land through Sunday Bo. Except more, expect more of the attacks because Fulani is heartless. Nigeria is the worst thing that has ever happened to every Nigerian. Bringing three different tribes who share almost not in common and call them a country. Fulani should be a country of their own. The undevelopment, killings, kidnappings and adoptions, bombing we see in Nigeria today are mainly from Fulani. Their years of ruling this country did not bring any good to Nigeria. They ate other tribes and even ate themselves because they killed themselves. They should be they should be a country of their own, like Niger, Niger, like Niger. They hate good things. Fulani terrorists, hessmen, they kill on our people and on our day there, they sit down, they look. Now small. That's more than go take capture Yoruba land and Yoruba pe people, all of them are going to run up and down. Don't worry, very soon, when we go here, say Yoruba land, Fulani people don't take over them. We are the Yorubas in supporting the, we, we are the Yorubas in supporting the Northerners. Their highs is clearer now. I think it's, it's say, where are the Yorubas supporting the Northerners, their highs is clearer now. Yoruba are getting what they bargained for in the hands of Fulani. They sold their slaves to Fulani cheaply in 2015. I'm not an Igbo man, but I know this can never happen in Igbo land again. Yoruba are betrayers. See some Igbo that wanted to help them. Some of them are insulting and even attacking him verbally. Now the Kano is not the one killing Nigeria. Now, Buhari, APC, and Fulani Esmen, the key Nigerian people. Okay, hmm. Sorrowful. Life, what a trage tragedy. May God help us in Nigeria, our fatherland. Hmm. I'm also Yoruba, too, who never believes in the agendas of the uh, Buhari APC plan. I pity our Yoruba people when our leaders say, follow. Follow, you go see many follow, follow, follow all over. They there when I go see Wahala this time. Okay, Nigeria, Nigeria, killing your own children. Hmm. Nigeria, this is becoming too much. You have to refuse to you refuse to acknowledge God in your thoughts. God left you. Okay. Look at what has befallen you. Who else full any has men? They don't know that with this the atrocities they are helping South to be more united. See. These are Nigerians reacting to the incident. The truth is that um, we are facing this problem because the government have not yet found a lasting solution to this insecurity issue. They know the people that have been committing these atrocities, but they are looking the other way. The, prop the question is, why are they petting them? You don't need to pet criminals. These people, they are killing people. They don't want living. You understand? They are making life unbearable for people. You can imagine taking life of six persons, same family, the same day. Where can this happen? And the general government, they feel that all oh, these are just, can I say, these people are playing. This is not a child's play. These people mean it. They have declared war. 
This is Nigeria is already sitting in a, a what is it called in a time bomb, waiting to explode. Only God knows what is going to happen. If this is not uh, uh, prevented on time, Nigerians are shouting, no. The government should do something. Everybody, they talk left and right. This thing, when they happen, is not good. How can people be dying like this? Now you will be in your house. They will take off your head. This one now not be bush. They did not go to farm. In their house, they were killed. You get it. No day in this country, you will not hear bad news. One, two, three, no day. We they forbid to hear good news. No day. What is all this? So does it mean that those people there, they are not seeing what is happening? Or can they tell us that they are not in Nigeria? They are not hearing what is happening or they are not seeing what is going on? Because it's really very, very sympathetic that all these are happening and we have leaders that are supposed to do something about this. What are these people made of that they cannot be uh, tackled? What are they made of? Who are these people? What are their agenda? This is a very serious question. Now. Every person will ask he or herself, who are these people? What are they made of? Why is it that the government is finding it difficult, you know, to cripple this problem of insecurity in this country? Nigerian military cannot do anything. Nigerian police, they are crippled already. They are, they are afraid to even go after these people. It's not that they don't know the hideout of all these bandits. It's not that they don't know the hideout of all these people that have been causing these issues. But they just decided to keep quiet. The question is, why? Why are all these things happening? What is the genesis of this problem? So the Nigerian government does not know what is going on. This is the question Nigerians are asking. So hello guys. What can I say? May their gentle soul rest in perfect peace. That is just it. They are, they are dead already. It is well. So hello guys. Kindly hit the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Thank you.